Hey there, this is the conclusion of, the, of um, making these two tartan skirts. And although I've already posted a video about what to expect when you receive your kilt in the mail, I decided I wanted to do a special one for these because they're not my typical product. So, and ladies, please forgive me if I mispronounce your name because I've only read them. I haven't heard them. So, um, Greta, Greta, your kilts, your, your tartan skirt has a rifle green lining and brown straps. And later yours has black straps and a buff lining. Now, when you receive the things, you'll see that there's still white basting thread in place. And I had done this because it was a challenge to, to baste or to, to press these as, as box pleat. And so I left the baste in just for transport. And you can just use your fingernail to pick them out. Now... So I'm pausing for a second to talk to the people who've been following this and that are trying to do the same thing themselves. I discovered that the way to properly get that shape at the hip is using something called a tailor's ham. So by, press, by pressing uh, the top part, pressing the, the upper part of the fell, I should say, pressing the pleats, and then pressing the, the, the seat across the hem, we've, uh, we managed to achieve the shape that we were looking for. And to that end, ladies, um, I don't want you to hang these things when you're, when you're done wearing them, okay? Because if you hang them, the shape will sort of flatten out, right? The trick is, after you've worn these things, be, oh, I should back up a bit. My best advice is, is just to wear these things a lot because they will shape themselves to you. And then after having worn them, this is the same advice I give to everyone else who has a kilt in mind. Um, rather than hang it up immediately, or not hang it up at all, but rather than put it away immediately, you lay it out across the back of the couch or across the foot of the bed or something like that, and you let it air out at least overnight. And even if you've only worn it for an hour or so, if it's managed to get... Um, wet in the rain and that's not a problem uh, just you just turn it a couple times until it's until it's completely dry and then same advice i tell everybody else you stand with your curtain skirt and if you look down if you see the label you know you're doing it right so you're holding the inner apron the left hand edge with the lining facing you standing upright and you roll the thing upward backward like this and this has the advantage of helping it keep its shape, or at, least, or at least not changing its shape, so that it'll continue to fit you. And then you can lay that flat. You can you can roll it over like that, and put it in a shelf or a drawer or some a cedar chest or something like that, and um, and it'll be fine. And again, let me be the first to wish you many happy years, wear and enjoyment of your new tartan skirts. One more thing. Don't take them to the dry cleaner. Dry cleaning isn't a good thing for wool, okay? And they will, they will, even if they are believe they're paid enough to care, they will mess up the pleats. Let it completely dry out. Examine it occasionally for dirt or damage or anything like that. If you have a problem with cleaning or if you believe they need cleaning, contact me and we'll, and we'll work it through based on what the nature of the, uh, of the mess is. So there we go. These will be picked up for you in a couple of days so that uh, you'll have them and enjoy them. Thank you very much.